What is going on guys? We are doing Game of Thrones Beyond the Wall and this is a straight review because I know that the episode has been linked. This is a drunk review because as you could tell I'm slurring my words, I'm, you know, but I'm still absolutely hyped for this episode. So at this point you are probably, you know, going to watch the episode of Game of Thrones Beyond the Wall. Just to let you know, straight review, that it was absolutely awesome. It was everything that you wanted in the Game of Thrones episode. It might have been the best episode of the season. However, I call it the Dark Knight Rises of this episode where there's a lot of plot holes. There's a lot of things you question. There's a lot of things that, uh, were, that just doesn't add up. But, however, there's a lot of things that you love. There's a lot of action there's a lot of drama there's a lot of in, a character interaction that you wish you especially with the a team that john snow has come up with it i mean there's no secret that this season has been a little bit rushed and that that's the problem with this episode as well that it still seems a little bit rushed there seems still seems to be a lot of moments there seems to be a lot of scenes that should have been actually played out in a couple of episodes but we're because it's only so many episodes of the season that were dwindled down to one but that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing because there's a lot of good things to like about this episode. Of course, HBO accidentally leaked the episode, so I was able to watch it. But so much good stuff. The action was great. The drama was great. The interactions were absolutely awesome, especially with certain characters. With certain characters, I will say though, the atmosphere, the settings, the location is what really opened my eyes to this episode i mean the snow i mean you really when you see these up when you see these guys like john snow tormon uh the hound and the merry man i, I like to call him the merry man just really walking in the snow walking in these settings you really feel for them that they're really fucking cold because it's ice everywhere it's ice everywhere everywhere there's uh, conversations going on but it's just absolutely the setting is what really brought me to this episode I think the setting really does justice and that's what I love about Game of Thrones is that they're not afraid to do they do some settings you know with dragons and Daenerys and all that other stuff but for this episode it really feels like you're actually there it really reminds me of Batman Begins especially with uh Gendry, uh, Gendry, uh, the Baratheon's bastard, he is really, uh, focused on this episode as well, not too much, but a little bit, and I think I really love the interaction in this episode, I really love the characters and what they do, I really love the storyline where it goes, especially with the Night King and the White Walkers, if you're waiting for the Night King and the White Walkers, this episode delivers, if you're waiting, if you want to see what on, uh, Arya and Sansa do this episode. This is another episode with those two. Uh, I think I was a little disappointed not seeing a lot of other characters interacting in this episode. But other than that, I think this episode is super solid. It's one of the best episodes, but I think it has flaws. And I call it the Dark Knight. Like I said, I call it the Dark Knight Rises of this episode. But overall, very happy with this episode very happy where it's going but i still think the pacing is very much off i don't know why hbo really condensed it i really feel like this season needed to be a either a 10 episode season or a 12 episode season because i think a lot of the moments in this season needed to be stretched out a little bit just for you to really kind of process what's going on so far, a lot of the episodes have been fast-paced. You needed to kind of like catch up, catch a breather. But I've seen this episode maybe like three times already. And I really feel like this episode really delivers in all fronts. Uh, just not the pacing aspect of it. But overall acting, uh, storyline, um, just what you wanted to see in overall in the Game of Thrones theory. Yes, it is fan fiction, fiction kind of type but overall, it, it still delivers, and I think the direction is absolutely beautiful. I think the director who directed this episode and so far has directed uh, a lot of the directors who've taken 
you know, uh, in their hands. With a lot of the episodes are doing a great job, but this episode is definitely worth a watch. If you want to see the spoiler review, me, Taylor, and James are going to do the spoiler review on Monday. This is just a drunk review. I've seen it on, uh, I believe, on Wednesday, Thursday esque because of the leaked review, but um, I just want to give you my thoughts on the Game of Thrones. Um, just give you a Game of Thrones review. Absolutely awesome episode, but absolutely has a lot of flaws with it, especially with the time, the consistency, and where all the characters seem to be able to, you know, it's the Dark Knight Rises of the episode. That's the best I could describe it. And if you've seen the Dark Rises, you know exactly what I mean, but it did deliver, and even though with a lot of the flaws of this episode, it still was an awesome episode. So, thank you guys for listening. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the review, uh, or to the channel. I am drunk. This is a drunk review, so absolutely, uh, I know you guys like the drunk reviews, so this is another one. And still have my wits about the episode. I Like I said, all means, acting was great. Uh, story was great, but it still needed time to stretch out to really kind of convey the story of what events that happened in this episode to really kind of make sense. There was one particular scene where it was a come and go scene that I absolutely hated but loved at the same time where I feel like that scene needed to stretch out and it's just the Overall, how many episodes are in the season where the pacing is just so off this season. So, if you agree with me, please comment below. If you don't agree with me, please tell me why you think the pacing is really awesome in this season. So, love to hear your thoughts. Then making this sun. I'll see you guys later. And this is Game of Thrones Beyond the Wall Review.